supporting me. Thank you so much. Okay, so are you ready? I always ready. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so pick the name of the joint. Okay, here we go. We have Miss Cheryl Caluiga. Correct me if I'm. Hello, contestant. Uh, contestant number one. Here's my question. If you could represent transgender all over the world, what would you advocate for? Well, thank you so much for the wonderful question. Before anything else, I just want to greet everyone and good evening. If I would represent the transgender, my advocacy is to treat others as a mothers, as our friends, our, our sisters, and our brothers. Because ladies and gentlemen, we as a human being, we as one of the creation of God, we have an equal rights, an equal rights to, to make us a better person. So we must treat others as our brothers and sisters because at the end of the day that would be a solution for our world peace thank you so much and good evening thank you very much candidate number one and now let's proceed to candidate number two wow glittery 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 candidate. hi candidate number two hello good evening um what can you say about the people here of barangay bar it was very overwhelming. The, 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 the people are very warm and they're welcoming. Thank you. Okay, so uh, pick the name of the judge. Ang hirap naman. <laughs> Para kami mga tomboy nito. <laughs> Pinapasok yung mga dalili. Okay, so ready. Your judge is... We have Madame Miyart Baldissimo Garcia. Perfect. Good evening, candidate number two. Good evening, ma'am. If you will be stuck in an island, what are the three things that you will bring to survive and why? If I will be stuck in an island, what would be the three things that I will bring in order for me to survive and why? First of all, I would like to bring with me a rosary. Because I believe that it's the only thing that will keep me survive no matter what happened. Faith is something that is stronger than anything. Always remember that. Number two, I would probably bring a kit or a medicine kit. If ever that I would be, I would be wounded, I could be able to treat myself without the presence of any medical personnel. And number three, I would be bringing with me water and a survival kit. That would keep me strong and strong, and I will be able to survive every single day in that island. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all remember that life is precious and that we should always do everything in order for us to survive. Thank you and good evening. Thank you very much, candidate number two. And now let's proceed to candidate number three. Once again, a representative from Barangay Bara, Raja City. Okay, I'll give you a chance to greet and to say thank you to all your support. Hello, Barangay Bara. Um, I would like to say thank you, of course, most especially to my parents who allowed me to join in this pageant and to all the people here that support me right now. Thank you so much and God bless you all. Thank you very much. Okay, are you ready? Okay, pick the name of the judge. Okay, we have the beautiful Jackie. Good evening, Kim. How are you feeling? Um, I'm quite nervous because of what happened a while ago. It's normal. Oh, my question goes this way. If you were given a chance to be born again, what would it be? Being a boy or being a girl and why? 
Thank you so much for that very um, witty question, ma'am. For me, I definitely choose to become who I am right now, to become a boy. Why? Because I do believe that no matter who you are and what you are in this society, we are the same. And I do believe that if you have the heart, the heart that stands for humanity, excellence in everything you do, acceptance in everything that happened, respect to everyone you encountered, and most especially transform your life to the fullest. Therefore, no matter who you are, you will be a human with a pride. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number three. And yeah, before we proceed to the next contestant, I would like to say hi and shout out sa lahat po ng mga LGBTQ members na nandito ngayon at sumusupport. Thank you, thank you very much. Eh? Next! <laughs> Maui Talentino. Candidate number four. Maui! What can you say tonight? Good evening, everyone, and thank you for having here, for being nice, and for accept us for what we are. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. So, are you ready? Okay. Medyo maburubud lai lang. Okay, so uh, you want to read? We have Mr. Peter Lara. Hello, good evening. To everyone. Hi, Maui. Hello, Madam. How are you now? I feel hungry. <laughs> okay. So, your question is, who was the greatest influence in your life and why? Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. As a gay, I am strictly in habit to live my life, be educated. I am in school since elementary until tackling for college. The most influential and my most um, influential person in my life is that my mother because my mother already passed 2007. So my mom taught me everything. Even I don't want to graduate as a teacher at the University of San Agustin. Honestly, I am a teacher in profession, but I did not pass my board exam. At least I give my mother happiness. 2005 is my graduation at the University of San Agustin. So because of my mom, he taught me to become a good person and to love one another. So my mom is the most important thing in my life. So even I am not practice my being a teacher, at least I am the best and the best um, breadwinner in the family because I am the eldest among five siblings. So look at me now, I'm still looking forward even there is a lot of challenges, a lot of trials, but still I am strong because I do believe that we gays now are very fighters. So I hope you respect that I really love my mom so it is very important to me even he is now in the heaven thank you so much well I am so happy that uh, people here are very acceptance when uh, um, to, the, uh, to the LGBT community and uh, I am so happy that there are many people here right now watching us thank you very much okay so are you ready with your question okay any juice? Bacchus Herre Herre Herreza. Am I correct? It's Herrera. Herrera. Oh, okay. yeah. Thank you very much. Hello. Good evening, contestant number five. Hello, sir. Good evening. How are you feeling right now? Oh, uh, I'm a little bit nervous, but I can manage it. Well, that's good. I hope you are watching news and the current events right now because my question would be on the current events which happened I think happened two days ago about a certain LGBT uh, community member who had an issue with the use of the comfort room so my question is what is your view actually there is no right and wrong answer on this but my question is what is your view regarding the proposal of the administration that there should be another um, comfort room for the
the members of the LGBT community. Would you like to rephrase again, sir? Okay, what is your view or opinion in the proposal of the administration regarding the proposal of providing another extra or comfort room for the members of the LGBT community aside from the male room CR or and the female CR? So there will be another proposal that they are providing another comfort room for LGBT. What is your view or opinion on that? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hindi po masama ang pagiging bakla sa mata ng tao, sa mata ng Diyos. Huwag lamang kaming gagawa ng sarili namin ikasasama. Ladies and gentlemen, as part of the LGBT community, I don't need to be plastic in front of you. We, LGBT community, wants an equal rights. And we are here in front of you fighting for our gender equality. As we all know that right now, the administration are talking about the SOGI bill, which is the sexual orientation, gender identity expression. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are also human beings. If the administration will pass that um, CR or the comfort room for us LGBT, of course, we will be happy. We will be comfortable to enter a comfort room which is only for us, the LGBT, so that nobody could discriminate us, nobody could judge us, because nobody can judge us, only God. So no matter what happened, we are also human beings. That's God's greatest masterpiece. I think that would be all. Thank you. For welcoming us, the LGBT community, even though we are from uh, Aklan and others from India, but still you are ho uh, hospitable enough to welcome us here in Barangay Barra. Thank you. Okay, so you now uh, take your question. Si Bon Bon. Miles. Okay, we have Mr. Ruiz or Kiko. Good evening, number six. Good evening, sir. Okay, my question is, the lower house or the house of representative, our congressman, is proposing an act lowering the child's criminal liability from 15 years old down to 12 years old. Are you in favor that the 12-year-old child be imprisoned? And why? Well, ladies and gentlemen, in this world that's full of uh, bad things happens in this world, I am in favor that the 12 years old will be imprisoned, but not in the, pri uh, in the prison where the the older one is there, but when the prison that at their age, at, the, at their age gap is is also there because I do believe, ladies and gentlemen, that a person who uh, at the age of twelve years old, the, per, the person who uh, commit mistakes or uh, sin is not yet uh, is not yet undermine that they are doing wrong but that's why ladies and gentlemen i am encouraging you people especially the parents to please guide your uh, children to in a good path because i do believe that the only thing who can make your children go to a, a right path is our uh, parents that would be all thank you and good evening hi candidate number seven how about Love for candidate number seven. Let's give her a round of applause, please. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, I'll give you a chance to greet your supporters. Hello, good evening to everyone. Thank you for having us here and supporting us for tonight's event. Thank you so much. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Your question is, if you have given a chance to travel back in time, what historical event you're going to witness and how you bring the message to today's millennial. What historical event you're going to witness and how you bring the message to today's millennial. Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. If I will be travel back in time, I will travel in the time where LGBT started. And I want to know that why we are existing here in this world and i will bring this to new to the millennial by by educating every individual 
that we LGBT people also a creation of God. We LGBT people, we also also have rights. We can be talented and beautiful. That's why there's really no reason to look down on us. Ladies and gentlemen, we can be the best version of ourselves if you just let us do what we want. Thank you so much. Judge Cyro Chan Besa. Likewise, sir. My question is, what two government agencies should work together in order to achieve economic stability? Again, what two government agencies should work together in order to achieve economic stability? Okay, thank you for that wonderful and interesting question. Well, for me, the two government that uh, the agencies that merge to to do like our economic here in our country is the Republic of Education and the SWD because education is the key to the unlock, the golden door of freedom and transmission of civilization. Because if we are educated enough, we have the, the ability to change the world. Thank you. Hi, good evening. Okay, I'll give you a chance to greet. Well, I would like to thank my makeup artist, my cousin, Sire Kurt Colmo, and of course, manager, and to my friends. Hi. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, so you don't have any choice. I don't know. But I have to read this uh, name. Okay, na we have Miss Nanico Galicano Azores. Oh, it's rainy. I got the judge. Hello. Look at me. If love is the answer, what do you think is the question? Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that we don't have the same perceptions in life. And I believe that we have the same. But ladies and gentlemen, if love is the question, what is the answer? If love is the answer, what, is your, what do you think is the question? If love is the answer, what is the question? And that is, would be, do you believe in God? And the answer is love. Yes, I always believe because God is always, is always there to protect us. He is the one who stand here for, this, for, the, for all of our sin. Ladies and gentlemen, always remember that put God in the center of our heart because for God, Nothing is impossible. Thank you.